Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today I'm gonna to show you how to clean filthy, dirty doors. We're here at my parents' house, right here. Look at this, you guys. We are gonna shine this up, make it look so, so good. I'm gonna show you some awesome products. Nothing in here is sponsored. These are things that I absolutely love that's gonna help you get all the grime and make things look like brand new again. Like, look at this door right here and in here. My mom said, maybe we should just get a new door. I said, nope, I can come on over and I will make it look so, so nice. If you stay till the end of the video, I'm gonna show you some awesome tricks to make your glass all shiny and new and it's going to be chemical free it's one of my new favorites we are going to be using some things today that might surprise you we're going to go in with a little bit of this mrs meyers fabric softener this is lavender you guys i absolutely love this you can use any type of fabric softener the reason that this works so well it's the same principles like wd-40 it's got a little bit of an oily film on it and helps pick up grime and grease let me show you here the ingredients on the back in case you're interested here we go made with plant derived softening ingredients essential oils and it's made without parabens and other animal derived ingredients ingredients and you guys I just opened this right now oh, it smells so good so we're just gonna put a tiny amount here in this bowl with some hot water depending upon how much surface area you need to clean now when you put this in your soft softener department of your washing machine you only put about that much so I'm actually probably gonna only use about two teaspoons for my concoction right here moving over a couple things that we're going to use here today because that door is looking pretty nasty we're going to use this scrub daddy this is awesome it's abrasive and it can mold and form this brush is also awesome anything that i talk about here today i will have linked in the description box below also any videos that i think would be helpful like you can get in all those nooks and crannies you know on the sides of the door like this is awesome to get around the handle as well um, we have a just a cleaning toothbrush right here to get in any other small areas microfiber towels do not use them you never ever ever want to combine fabric softener with microfiber towels i've done this and it left them very streaky i couldn't figure out why my ears were all streaked up and it's because they got washed with that i solved that just a little vinegar washed them normally and it's just fine but don't use these i just wanted to give this to you as a demonstration i'm going to use some gloves here today and then if we can't get anything up we're going to go in with these thin erasers these um mr clean magic eraser sheets you guys these are so awesome for getting in tiny nooks and crannies that the regular um, square bar you may not be able to get into like behind handles and that sort of thing like i just think this is the coolest thing ever and i have a different sink in my house and i often use the the square ones in there but these thin eraser ones they literally clean everywhere when we're done cleaning the store up I'm also going to show you a way to disinfect the handles right here because there is a lot of bacteria that gets housed on these I'm going to show you the proper way to do that so we're just going to go in here with the scrub daddy you guys this was hard as a rock and now look at that I mean these are awesome I think these are the coolest thing ever um, these are perfect for cleaning the inside of your stove um, or your oven as well Let's just go in here. And again, this works because there's a bit of a, not like a softening agent inside of it. Look at that, you guys. Oh, and it smells so good. Look at, woo wee. Like that right there is so satisfying to me. So good. Let me show you here with the toothbrush how I would use this. I'm gonna clean this all up, I'm gonna show you at the end, but I wanna show you these little tricks here. Like if you wanna get in little places, like let's say up in here, around in here, see these little grooves. This is where you're cleaning toothbrush, just an old toothbrush, I often get these at the Dollar Tree. Look at that already. Dirty. It's gonna look so good when we are done here. And this is also awesome, like if you wanna get up in here, if you can see that right here in the window. That's why I like these. That's perfect. So you can really go to town on any sort of door or window track that you have. Can you guys see right in here in the corner? This is where the toothbrush also comes in handy. Look right, oh my goodness! Oh, that's satisfying. Oh. So we'll just dip it in here. Um, let me show you this one as well. This brush is awesome. I'll show you where I would like to use this. And again, it's just super, super flexible. Right in here. That smells good. And the lavender is just gives it a really nice scent. 
And what's nice about the fabric softener is it not only helps lift the dirt, much like a sticker in WD-40 does, if you get that stuck to your table, I've recently have done that, but um, it cleans, it makes it look nice. Okay, I'm going to make this look all bright, shiny, and new. We'll take a look at it, and then I'm gonna show you how to disinfect these. So, so good. I just wanted to show you this dirty water here from that initial cleaning. I did go in slightly here with this uh, magic eraser. Now let me just take you and show you how powerful these two things are in combination. All right, you see this dirt right here? You guys watch this. This is gonna pick up anything that got missed um, from the fabric softener solution. Now it smells absolutely awesome. Look at that, you guys. And these are awesome because it can really get in here. I'm so excited to show you guys. Look at how white that is. Like, it is truly remarkable. It looks like almost brand new. We got some paint there. I need a little, um, little bit of a scraper to see if I can get that off right there. But it is looking so, so nice. So the combination, first going in with the fabric softener, just made it smell really nice, clean things up. It's gonna help repel dirt. Um, it's awesome. And then going in with that magic eraser, and then I actually went back in with the water solution to help clean everything up because this was really dirty and disgusting. And if we take a look at this dirt right here, it's looking like brand spanking new. I can see just a tiny little spot right there, if you can see. Okay, so now let's talk about disinfecting these because this is really important. Now, I just have an old kitchen towel here that I cut up, and inside of here is some rubbing alcohol. And I use this for my light switches, remote controls, uh, basically anything that you touch on a regular basis. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna really saturate your handles, and you're gonna wanna keep them moist um, for quite a lot of time and just let them air dry. What often ends up happening is that people will do something like this or use a Lysol wipe and then they'll go in and dry it up. But that's a big no-no. You need to let the product sit on the surface until it dries so that it can properly kill any bacteria that's housed on the handles right here. Same thing um, like this one. So make sure that it's really wet. I like the rubbing alcohol because it does dry quickly compared to other products, but this is, this is an excellent way to just kind of finish everything up. All right, now we're gonna head on over and I'm gonna show you some excellent ways to clean your glass here, streak-free shine without any chemicals. Here we are back at my house and can you see my sliding glass door right here? There are so many, let's see, right up in here, you can see right here, so many fingerprints with my four kids. It's atrocious now. I clean this and they're right back to it, like right here, you guys, look at right here, look at that. All right, here is my favorite product. Now, a friend of mine had introduced me to Norwex. She gave me a free cloth, and I absolutely fell in love with it. But I wanted to find an alternative, and I did, you guys. These e-cloths, this is not sponsored. I love this because the only thing that you need with it is water. That's right, just water. Now, I love spray stuff like Spray Away because it smells awesome and just makes you feel like you're cleaning. Um, but I wanted to show you guys these. These make me feel better because they're environmentally friendly. Like, look at this. Because of these claws, these are all the things that you do to help the environment. Like, that just makes me feel good about what it is that I'm doing. And they're super easy to wash. Just use a little bit of detergent. You can wash it on hot heat, and then you're just going to hang them to dry. But these came with so, um, four different colors. They feel awesome. They're lightweight. They're very nice. But let me show you how nice these streaks go away. Um, now, one time I had washed my microfiber towels with fabric softener, which is a big no-no, and all the mirrors in my house started getting streaked up, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. That was the culprit. So let me show you right here. So I'm just going to spray with some water and watch these streaks disappear. And the fingerprints and the grime, it just works phenomenal. Now I need to get the outside of the glass too. You can see right there and we'll do that. But I absolutely love these cloths for cleaning your glass doors. I wanted to show you this because the door that I showed you at my parents' house had a glass door in it. Now their windows are not streaked up like mine because they don't have little fingers on them uh, as often as I do. But look at this, you guys. So, so good. I'll probably make a dedicated video just for these cloths because I absolutely love them okay can you see the markings right there i can't go outside and spray because it's absolutely freezing here in wisconsin what is it like negative 20 something like that but so so nice look at that ah oh, i'm impressed
All right, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it out. Give it a thumbs up. Lots of goodies in the description box below. Hit me up on Instagram at Andrew Jean Cleaning. Uh, come over to the website, the blog at andrewjeancleaning.com. I love you. I appreciate you. Take care.